in the Lord, that means you're in the secret place of the Most High. These fools out here, they're not in the secret place. They're, they're in darkness. They up to trap us out of a dark cave with no light. Up in the, trapped up in the corner with bats and bugs and roaches and shit crawling on them. It's like that cave on Indiana Jones when they stepping on bugs and shit. That's where these people at. That's where they live. Remember that yeah, Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones? Yeah. Go ahead. What's up, I was, I yeah, was, read that again from the top. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under, his, under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the house, he is my refuge and my fortune. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the folly. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust. Yeah, oh yeah, so the Lord will protect us from the pestilences. So when all this destruction comes, the Lord, he's going to protect us. When those riots break out, the Lord's going to protect us. When those missiles start flying, and they start shooting nukes everywhere, the Lord's going to protect us from that. There's all these other fools, they're they going to get roasted in that, in that fervent heat. You go up. He will cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust. His trust shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. Oh, that arrow that flies by day, yeah, that's those missiles. We ain't, we ain't afraid of those missiles. All right. A lot of people, when, that, when uh, the thermonuclear war breaks out, Russia starts shooting missiles on America. People's gonna start crying, you know. Be crying, you know. What I mean, they're gonna uh, all of a sudden they're gonna be praying to God for all these years. They didn't give a damn, but now all of a sudden now they're praying to oh, God. Shit, I have to do okay. <laughs> but but the Lord ain't gonna hear hear that prayer on that day. But He gonna deliver us. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be terrified when they see those missiles. When we see the missiles flying, the, fir the first nuke we hear hear by hitting on the news or whatever, however we gonna hear, we see it. We're going to be rejoicing. You know, you know we're going to jump for joy. We're going to leap for joy. You know, that that's a wrap. You know, that's a, that's the end of America. It's goodbye, America. Can I read this report? You know, I'm going to go back for a quick reset, bro. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 1 and uh, 24. Because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regardeth. But ye have said it not all my counsel. Yeah, so we've been telling these fools for years to turn back to the Most High. They don't want to put their trust in the Most High. They want to put their trust in this wicked ass kingdom. And with none of my reproof, I yeah. also will laugh at your calamity. So, so the Lord's gonna laugh at you when you get jacked up, when you get raped up in the uh, up in the race riots. Or you get destroyed by a missile, the Lord's gonna laugh at you. Okay? When the Lord sends the military p police out, breaks down your door, they shoot your little baby with a shotgun, and you know what I'm saying? Blow his fucking head off. Yeah, blow his goddamn head off right off the top of his head. And then they're gonna beat the hell out your wife, hit her right in the nose with the butt of the shotgun. Then the Lord's gonna laugh at you. And we're gonna laugh too. So we're reading here. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. Not only is the Lord gonna laugh at you, but then he's gonna mock you. Why are you getting destroyed? <laughs> what the motherfucker do getting mocked? That's like when you get in a boxing match and you know the, the boxer on top of you is talking shit after you done knocked you out. Yeah, yeah. Like I told you I was gonna knock you out. Why are you staggering? Oh, yeah. like dancing around you talking yeah. shit. Yeah, you talking shit. <laughs> That's how the Lord gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, you got crazy most high for that. That's right. When your fear cometh as desolation and your 
destruction cometh as a whirlwind. So, yeah, that destruction is going to come like a whirlwind. It, it's going to be fast. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a swift judgment. What does it say? Make a speedy riddance? Yeah, it's going to be a speedy riddance. When your distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. But I would not answer. Yeah, yeah. So y'all ain't going to, you ain't going to call on the name of the Lord until the race riots is busting out, you're getting robbed, there's cannibalism. Then all of a sudden you're going to pray. The Lord, please save me. My family. Jesus. And then the Lord, then the, you know what I'm saying? That upset the most high. Jesus. Then he'll punish you even further for even thinking about praying. Mm. You know what I mean? And that moment you're praying is that moment that you're going to get uh, raped. Or you're going to get destroyed. You get burned up by those nukes. Then shall they call upon me, but I would not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge. Yeah, because these people, they hate knowledge, man. That's all we do. We come out here, we speak knowledge, we teach knowledge, and people hate it. They despise truth. And did not choose the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is nowhere to be found out here. It's non-existent. It, well, the, only, the only place it seems to exist is right here. Yeah. It's a big fucking city. They would none of my counsel, they despise all my recruits. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Yeah, you're gonna get filled with your own devices. That's the reason why the Lord's gonna destroy this place. Because they are like in America under Sodom and Gomorrah. The Sodom and Gomorrah, they were, the Lord destroyed them for being a bunch of sodomites, a bunch of degenerates. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They just, it's just a, a society of retards and degenerates. People with no knowledge. Everybody is uninformed. The only knowledge people got is about actors and musicians, sports, a bunch of retarded shit. So freaking so. The average person doesn't know anything at all about basic history. If you, I mean, they can't even they can't even find Russia on a map. You tell them Russia gonna shoot missiles on them. They can't even find Russia on the map. They probably can't even find America on the map. That's how stupid it is. Mark Dice was going around the streets the other day asking people to name one city or one uh, country in Europe and nobody could name a country Damn. in Europe. They think Europe was a country. That's how stupid right, they are. Right, right, right. Like country Europe? I thought that was a country. So these people are dumb, man. It is just stupid and retarded. So that's why it's our job to come out here and teach knowledge, teach the truth. I got to read this This is wisdom of Psalms 4 and 18. They shall see him and despise him, but the Most High shall laugh them to scorn. And they shall hereafter be a vile carcass and a reproach among the dead forever. For he shall bring them and cast them down headlong, that they shall be speechless, and he shall shake them from the foundation and they shall be utterly laid waste and be sorrow, and their memorials shall perish. And when they cast up the accounts of their sins, they shall come with fear, and their own iniquities shall convince them to their face. Jesus. Yeah. That's just like that Isaiah, the countenance. I mean, the, uh, the countenance does witness against them. They, you know what I'm saying? They're just like they're sodomites. Oh, so fierce, man. Yeah. Just listen to how he talk. He's fierce. They're going to they gonna witness his fierceness and his wrath. They're going to feel every bit of it. <laughs> they're going to feel every bit of it. The wrath of the Almighty. Look, I'm going to get that scripture. They're going to feel every bit of it. I got, I got a precept. Matthew 19 and uh, 15. Hold up. Actually, let me... Uh, uh, excuse me, Revelation 19 and 13. And he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. So his, the Lord, when the Lord comes back, it, his clothes are going to appear like they dipped in blood from all the killing he's going to do. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. That's talking about those angels. 
coming out of the sky with those legions of chariots. And they're going to bring destruction upon the earth. Mm. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. So yeah, so the Lord, he gonna tread the winepress in the fierceness of the wrath of the almighty God. That's right. To tread the winepress, I mean, the Lord gonna come back, he gonna be stomping people's heads like grapes. He's gonna, he's gonna be fierce. I'll go ahead, you got something? Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bazar? This that is glorious in his apparel. Yeah. Traveling, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Yeah, because Esau, he's got great strength right now. And Esau, the, the Edomite families are the families that control the earth. Those people, all the, the rich, elite banking families and so on and so forth. Those are Edomites. Those are the children of the devil. Uh, I that speck in righteousness might to say, Wherefore art thou red and thy in apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine press, wine fat? I've trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them under my in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my remnant. Hey, Esau is gonna be stopped. He's gonna be stopped in pieces. Just, you know what I mean? That's right, that's right. So that's what's gonna happen. Esau is gonna get stopped in pieces. They're gonna go into slavery. That's what he did to his brother. That's so what Esau did to his brother. The brother he never loved. The brother he loved to hate. Um, you know, I'm putting him to die. You know somebody read the scriptures, it makes the scriptures, the scriptures go through your head. Yeah. Read it again. <laughs> I think I know what I want. I know what I want. Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that coming from Edom? Diet garments. What diet garments are right now? Yeah, Bob. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in greatness of the strength. I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. I have trodden the wine press alone. And of the people, there, there was none with me. Oh, well, that's good. You good? Oh, yeah, no. oh, I got it. For I would, I, for I would tread, I would tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. And the blood, the, and the blood shall be sprinkled, sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my remnant. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's that backs. That says the same thing as Revelation. The Lord, He gonna come back. He gonna destroy the beast. Who's the beast? The beast is America, backed by NATO. The Lord, the Lord going to destroy this, man. That shit is coming quick as shit, too. Yeah, because you're going to have the military. They're going to try to fight against the angels. Can you imagine that something? We're going to see it. <laughs> there will be none of that independence that they want to show No. Will Smith, an angel coming out the UFO after he committed a crash, going to punch an angel and shit. They're going to punch. Knock it out. It ain't going to happen. This is Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. That, that's all these fools out here, man. They just practice it. But really, Esau, he's the ultimate evil. Uh, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of the hand. And they covet fields. They take them by violence. Oh, that's, that's Esau to the, to, the, to the max. That's all Esau is known for. Going into the country and taking everything over. You take know what I'm saying? Everything. You take everything. Take their culture away. Put them in the and, and lay that shit seed of the uh, what you call democracy? democracy. Shit seed. Uh, same thing to the uh, to uh, the, the Guatemalans. What y'all think? The Guatemalans. The difference. Everyone. And the same thing. Cause like uh, they was had they had a 
dictator over there in America, like saying, uh, it's like a co-op or whatever. Yeah, yeah it's a documentary. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Gaddafi. Gaddafi. Oh, that was Libya. Remember that though? But that's, you know. You're thinking of, uh. Um, yeah, um, that, I, I said Gaddafi. That's Libya. I'm thinking of, um. Um, I know who you're talking about, I can't think of The that. drug lord, the drug lord yeah, dude. Uh, Escobar. No, not him. Not uh, Escobar. Came out, he was with Reagan and Bush. I know who you're talking about, um, I can't think of his name. Remember they was practicing the laser beams and shit? Yeah, yeah. They, they made the Panama Deception. Panama Deception, yeah. What's his name? Um, I know he, I know his name, I can't, I can't think, think of it. Yeah, he's been out the news for so long, man. They did one of Tupac's... Noriega. Noriega. Oh, that, that's it, Noriega. That's what I said, Tupac. Now the Tupac's dude was named after Tupac. Idi Amin and uh, no, they took on like dictators' names. You yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah, Gaddafi, one of them. But uh, all those dictators, Idi Amin. all the di all those dictators get taken down by the U.S. government, the CIA. All them dictators are heathens. Yeah, that's wild. Well, the United States set up Saddam Hussein. They set his ass up, put him in power, and then they go and kill his ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, thanks for helping out. Here's your here's your. Uh, Reward for helping us. We kill you. I know a couple years ago they had a special in the prison. I don't know if he's still alive or not. Who? Noriega. Because he, uh, cause he, remember they, they brought him here. They got him locked up in a federal prison here. So I don't know if he's still alive or dead or not. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But they, it's all hush us though, because all they're going to do is tell him, hey man, I'm trafficking tons and tons of cocaine and heroin for the bushes. Yeah, because the bushes, they had that, they own that uh, oil company. And then they were selling cocaine and shit out there. Uh, what's the, you know them oil rigs they got in the ocean and land helicopters and shit on them? Right. They, they were using uh, their oil rigs to sell dope, to sell cocaine. Let me show y'all some dope now shit. Because the Bush family is one of the biggest coke dealers in, in, the, in the world. Yeah. Known fact. Everybody knows. What's the name of that oil company they had? It started with a Z, didn't it? Uh, uh, I, knew, I knew, I knew uh, it was oil. Halliburton? No, no, that's an oil. I think it starts with a Z. I could look it up. Uh, I should know that. I, I, I be forgetting shit all the time. Halliburton deal with a more, more, the majority of the money coming uh, higher contract. in that contract shit for yeah. killers and, but and they security. Probably, they, security. They, probably, they probably sell drugs for that too. Though. You know they do. You know they do. These devils ain't slick, man. They ain't got us food. They did got you hear, food. Did you hear about that? They got the Bilderberg conference going on in Austria right now, right? Mm -hmm. But you hear the security guards they got guarding uh, uh, the Bilderberg Conference. You know the name of the, the people who's guarding it is? No. Cobra. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Fucking Cobra. It's fucking stupid. How fucking crazy is that? So you going to tell me these people ain't evil? It's like they got Cobra Commander and Destro over there plotting to rule the world. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? You can't make that shit up, man. <laughs> I was watching somebody's video. They was clowning on that name. Right, Alex Jones is where I heard it from. So, I, I seen it on Alex Jones. He's the only person that covered that shit. Yeah, no, nobody wants to cover the Bilderberg. See, the Bilderberg, that's the uh, that's like the Esau conference, the annual Esau get together. It's the Bilderberg. All the elite families of the earth come together to talk about how they're going to enslave all you fools. They're doing a good job of enslaving you too. Yeah. And now that the conversation's getting more and more, we gotta do this shit soon now. You know? Yeah. They trying to wait. Some of them at least tired of fucking wait. Liquidate liquidate their assets. Yeah, wait till the end of the summer, man. Watch, watch, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, they're gonna start all these retails that's gonna be closed. Yeah. They getting rid of this shit, man. But like you said, liquidate, they liquidate. You see all the shots they about to, they, 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 they want to liquidate the people. <laughs> That's what I meant. Like oh, they yeah. their assets. Look at these fucking fags, dude. Get the oh, fags on there. Person. Put some fucking clothes on. That's too much to drink. Are you no, we're dead serious. <laughs> fucking faggots, man. I'm fucking walk around half goddamn naked. Just like, ugh, look at my pets. Yeah, that's why this is going to be destroyed. That's a faggot shit, man. Here you go. This is a hard one. A cargo ship connect, connected to Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell, everybody knows who that oh, is, yeah. was recently stopped and searched before departing from Columbia. During the, recent, during the search, Columbia Coast Guard agents seized roughly 90 pounds of fucking cocaine. Damn. But ain't nobody touch him or his family. 
Yeah, all, the, all those senators and politicians are drug dealers or uh, uh, pedophiles, rapists, devil worshippers. This is a fucking crazy ass country. This dude bro. looks like he's gay. Hypocrites. Being exposed. They've been exposed for the hypocrisy. The drugs are found on the ping main, which is, you know, devils like naming this shit, which is a vessel operated by the foremost maritime corporation and company owned by Mitch McConnell's and his in laws, the K.O. family. This connection is not only relevant because of the family's connection, but also because of the K.O. family has often made large donations to McConnell's donations in his campaign. Yeah, he, he's one of the top top people Mitch in, McConnell. In, uh, in the government. Yep. Fucking drug dealer. I ain't gonna read all and then you look, shit. man, you look at everybody, all, all the politicians, they're all fucking drug dealers, devil worshippers. Even all the people at these schools, they're a bunch of pedophiles too. They're like your boy, uh, What's that coach's name for Penn State? <laughs> uh, Joe Paterno. Joe Paterno, he got caught. Him was Sandusky was molesting people. Like, Sandusky. Well, there's the guy who is, uh, just got, came out, he was like the leader of the house or something. He used to be oh, a yeah, football coach. Oh yeah, that's Hastert. he used to be the speaker of the house. It came out, yeah, that's another politician. Cause all these politicians are either a fucking drug dealer, a pedophile, or all of them. All the above. All the above. <laughs> and these people sitting here talking about, I'm going to vote. People are retarded. They keep tr they keep trusting on that, that ballot box. And your vote don't even count, especially the presidential election. Because the, the, the people do not elect the president. The, the electoral college elects the president. So they so their selection is not election. Motherfuckers waiting in line for hours to go vote for some goddamn devil. Oh my, keep hope alive in the law. Yeah, talk about some hope and change. What kind of change did you get? You ain't get a goddamn thing. Oh, you see how Obamacare? That shit. That shit's going crazy now. Insurance costs more than ever. You see that shit? These people trusting some goddamn Obama. Now you got all kind of families crying because they can't afford the, the insurance now. The rates have done skyrocketed on Good the for them. That's good. Now we're going to laugh even further when they turn off the EBT cards. That's the reward they get. Let me read some more of this scripture, man. Yeah. Uh, I'll read it from the top. Uh, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do, too. And they covered fields and take them by violence in houses and take them away so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Oh, that's what they do to us. They, they oppress our heritage. They, like, that's the reason we don't know why we're Israelites. It, their job is to keep us asleep, to keep, keep us down in a low condition. That's why they make you pay taxes for everything. What happens if you don't if you don't pay taxes? They, they will come at you with guns and they're gonna lock you up. Seize your property. Seize your property. They're gonna take everything you've worked your whole life for and take it from you. They'll come and take your children from you. CPS will just straight take your children. That make up a bullshit of excuse of why they taking them. They can say that you're a uh, you're a schizophrenic because you believe in the Bible. So now we have to take away your children. You see that family that was living off the grid with all them children? Oh, you can't live off the grid. And um, they still got the kids, and that was over a month ago. Oh yeah. They still have. The oh kids, yeah, they man. took their children. They took the kids, yeah. Still ain't gave them back. That's what they'll what do. What's so morally correct about this goddamn place, man? They just straight take your children. And then a man never gets his child to begin with. It's always the woman, because the woman will leave you, leave you and then the, the police will take the child from you and give it to the woman. You can just look at the expression of his face. He is up to no fucking good. Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, fuck the cops ain't. Cops ain't shit, man. Up to no fucking good. They think they got everybody food. They can think they can do this shit in secret, and they the most high, and the angels don't see them. <laughs> jokes on them. I've seen a video on the internet. Some thugs were out in the hood. It was a Columbus cop. They was out there, kept saying, fuck the police over and over again. Then a cop came up behind him and started saying it with them. Wow. What? <laughs> Making mockery, huh? That's well, what he's doing. Well, the cops could be cool with them. They could Make be selling drugs together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, man, these cops be creeping through the hood, yeah, man. That's right. They be creeping through the alleys. And you can, like you said, you can see that look in their eyes. Mm -hmm. They just doing some dirty shit. Yeah. Yeah. They let people sell drugs because they put them there. 
That's why you wonder you drive by certain spots in the hood and you you see the same group of dudes on the corner selling drugs. Same motherfuckers. Every day. Every day. You gonna, that's because they're allowed to be right there. All day. Every day. Real and good. a lot of them be undercover cops too. They have undercover cops go up in the hood and sell drugs. They make movies about it. About how cool it is. Remember the one with um uh, Lawrence Sussman and um, that Jew Jeff dude. Goldblum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the best movies. That was uh, a badass movie. Deep Cover. That was a badass movie. Yeah, that movie Deep Cover. Uh, that's what we was talking about. Uh -huh. How the, That movie Deep Cover shows you uh, how the government is the one supplying all the drugs, all the cocaine. Your boy, um, the one with Denzel? Oh, yep. That's that's based on fact. It's based on fact. The, the dude, he Which was, one? The, are you talking about Which uh, movie? Because both of them. American was, Gangster. That one and the other one. When what he was, was uh, he was a cop. Training yeah, training. Oh yeah, training. training. Oh, I yeah. can't forget about yeah. Oh, he won best actor for training. Did, did, ain't that crazy? Yeah. Some back, that's some backwards shit, man. But most of the, those movies, that's real life, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's real life. Actually, that's probably not even. It probably goes even deeper than that. You know what I mean? But they show you in these movies what's going on. That's my shit, man. People were like, oh, that's just a movie. Yeah, yeah. These, these cops are really stand-up citizens. <laughs> or stand-up fellas. Stand -up like, only 10% of cops are corrupt. Yeah. Don't let yeah, one bad apple them spoil the bunch. They all right. That's all right. That's all right. Bunch of damn devils. <laughs> they won't go home and claim the horse manure. Damn, fuck the you said one got a dress on. So Wu Tang Clan forever. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> What's up, man? You believe in the Bible? You don't believe in the Bible? You don't know. You don't know what's going on, do you? So what are you gonna do? They try to put a microchip in. Oh, oh you going to? You all know about the market of beasts? Uh, you know, I've so, heard of the microchip. You know, as soon as when we mandatory, the government's gonna start right. I know it's in my ID right now. Oh, you got an RFID in your ID, right? Right. They track it. They can track your every move with that. So should I you should put in the micro. You should put that in the microwave for about three seconds. Yeah, fry it. But my idea would still be good? Yeah, you gotta do it quick. <laughs> yeah, it's a trick. But you ain't gonna be able to put your hand in the microwave. You might be able to. Put your head in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's just in there? Who gives it most? I don't give a fuck you give it out. Yeah, you, you already got it. Yeah, you see the, uh, the CEO of PayPal. You know what PayPal is, right? Yeah, I'm thinking about using it. So. Wait, well, he said uh, he would like for all of his customers to have a microchip implanted in their brain to use his services. Look. So you know that's coming, bro. Hey, this this coming. This, 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 we're here now. That time's uh, here now. What are they gonna just call in everyone who's well, already alive? Well, it's just yeah, gonna be. The, they're already uh, phasing out cash right now. There's gonna be a cashless society. Cause that's why now everyone's paying for their merchandise with a credit card or use your cell phones now. Yeah. What's the word for one call? Oh, the EBT card. EBT, EBT. So soon everything's gonna go all digital. They're gonna outlaw cash. There's gonna be no more cash. It's gonna be all, all digital. You see all this stuff with um. I've been reading a lot lately on the news. There, you know, but there's so much counterfeit money going around. Yeah. Every so single, use every that state. As an excuse, that's, right? that's just one of the many excuses. Another excuse for that chip too. It'll say uh, it'll help us uh, keep track of your medical records. It'll help keep track of your children. So if your child gets lost, we'll know where he's at. That's right. You see so, them. You see the murderers that escape, right? In front of that oh, that's, another one. that's another. So yeah, that's another. That's another. Certain religion or something? No, just. I was just curious. We're, he, we're Hebrew Israelites, and uh, we're out here fishing. That's all. We're, yeah. just, we're fishing for a fish called the elect. We teach the Bible. That's that delicious fish too. See, the Bible is not religion. See, the Bible is the Lord is not dealing with all these little churches, mm -hmm. all these all these little. Yeah. See, so I mean, I'm kind of more spiritual. Yeah. I went to church till I was 15 or That's 16. That's probably torture too, what? <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit. Me. <laughs> Not too bad. It was pretty bad. Alright, this is Revelation Alright, so have a good one. Okay.
might come back with some friends. All right, we'll do that. Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Yeah, that's that mark of the beast. Keep going. Um, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Yeah, so so that's what I said. That's why the dude from PayPal said you're not going to be able to use the service unless you got a microchip in your brain. He even was a uh, and it, some executive from Citibank said he he wished they would outlaw cash. They're going to get rid of cash. They even pushing out with that Bitcoin shit to get popular. Cause you know, so just been theft on the Bitcoin. Cause you know the big, you know the governments be behind Bitcoin too. Of course. They're gonna try to pretend like it was some hackers invented it. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah it's probably some CIA hackers or that's something. All it is, yeah. yeah. That's all it is. Just devils behind everything that's going on. Cause they got a lot of banks starting to use up Bitcoin now. Straight up. Yeah. I knew overseas they were, but over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't, actually, I don't know. I don't know that. For I, know. We'll see, I heard somebody see. talking about it. Yeah. This guy on CNN did a documentary. He lived off of Bitcoins for like a month straight, going oh. from town to town. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I heard him talking about it on an NPR, but about how some banks actually use Bitcoin now. So if the banks is using Bitcoin, you know that shit's no damn good. You know what I mean? Bank, that's the number one devil on the planet. Trust in the bank. And if that shit was created by hackers, but well, once the banks get involved, it's over. It's over with anyway. The Pope. Pope. Only assume, so that's, your money. that's not money. Uh, fucking, your money depends on the electrical grid being intact. Wow. Huh. Happened with an EMP hit this bitch. Oh, no more bitcoins for you. No more money. <laughs> no more cheddar. <laughs> no more of that cheddar. <laughs> Yeah, but so they're gonna do that, man. They're gonna start pushing that this uh this trans transhumanism even more and more. I was thinking about it. they're gonna give people. You know how you can zoom in with a camera? Soon they're gonna start implanting people with eyeballs that can zoom in and shit. Yeah, because they already got it. Yeah. Yeah, that's some sweet shit though. We wait for that spooch power though. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I prefer to have. Cause that's the age we're living in, man. Yeah, I saw this uh, video on that, man. That's some bad shit, man. Yep. And they, they actually got, got CIA thousand miles away actually controlling that piece. Yeah. Zooming in on shit. What movie is that? Oh, the movie just came out of Spy. They show some shit in that movie, man. It's pretty long for a dumbass comedy, too. It's a long dumbass comedy, man. But they show a oh, lot yeah. of shit in it. And plus, you got, you got this movie called uh, Closer to God, where they uh, manufacture babies and shit, man. They do put it's shit. It's bad, man. They always show shit in the movies. Oh, always. And took and these babies, man, None of the babies are normal, man. Some there's one baby that got locked away that at the end of the movie ended up killing a lot of the people, man. And it's man. only a baby, like four years old. Man. Just went the flip, just flipped the fuck out, man. It was all just, you know, fucked up. Robotics and shit. Everything, everything. The baby was just fucked up, but he was never none of the babies were normal. Did you they know, couldn't think calm. Did you know they already shit. got like exoskeletons? Yeah, that's some bad shit too. You know what yep. I mean? Yeah. Russia had that way before America, man. Well, you, you know, know the exoskeleton on. I heard the Japanese are building real life Gundams. Damn. Oh, I saw them. There's a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just going to get crazy. You know what I'm saying? The best they That's can, the power man. of this beast, though. So yeah. the, just like it's that the scripture you read in Ezra, let's talk about how the beast had great power. What did it say? No, the one he read in, uh, was it Isaiah? With that great host? Or... Yeah, what's that one part of Brother said in there about uh, with this mighty? I forget exactly how it said it. Yeah, but when Esau had got great power, man, you gotta watch this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. This devil got. You know what he's preparing for? He's preparing for the end times. Yeah, got those. Yeah, those. They gonna try to use those robots and mech suits to fight against the angels. Yeah, we are gonna be like Hulk. Lord yeah. willing, if we get receive power, man, we are gonna be like the Hulk, tearing them motherfuckers up, man. Yeah, ripping motherfuckers' heads and limbs off yeah. and arms off. Cause there's a scene in the motherfucking New Avengers, the Hulk just tearing through uh, the Hulk Buster trying to get at who's inside that Oh yeah. Tearing through it. Man. That's 
was the only bad part of the movie when he was in that thing was fighting. Yeah, that's a, yeah, Jack Kirby too, he created the Hulk. The funny thing about that is he said all the superheroes he created, well, he said the original superheroes came from the Bible. That was his inspiration for superpowers was the Bible. So people are going to say that we're crazy, but y'all are crazy talking about getting superpowers. Man, well, well Jack cool. Kirby created all these characters like the Hulk and uh, the X-Men and the Avengers he created. But he said his inspiration came from the Bible. That's where, because that's where the first instance of superpowers is found is in the Bible. So we know just people say we're crazy. You guys said they're going to get superpowers. These motherfuckers is nuts. Here you go. This is um, Jeremiah 49, 22. Behold, he's 21. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. At the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra, and at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pain. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's how Esau is going to be soon. Getting ready to give birth to that slavery. This is another one of songs as bad as shit, man. Go ahead, bring it out. Revelation 16 and 14. But they are the spirits of devils working miracles. <laughs> All right, that's what's working miracles. All this technology these devils got. But these, these motherfuckers got fully autonomous robots. Do you know what a fully autonomous robot is? You know what that is? Yep. You know what it is, man? Yeah. It will devour and kill every So in the Bible, man. So the Lord gave this power to this devil for the end times. And that's his only purpose is for the end. All this great shit that they made, man. All this fantastical knowledge. Right, that's what we look at. The Bible said he did, uh, made can... miracles by making fire come out the skies. But let me, I'm trying to find this one in Psalms. Hold on, don't take me a minute. Yeah, so we was just talking about this technology. We was talking about how the government, they playing to uh, put microchips in everybody. You know, you've heard about that? I've heard. The RFID oh, chips. Soon they want to track and control everybody by putting mm -hmm. microchips in people. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't have no idea about that, you know? They, they just live in a fantasy land. Where are you guys from? All over, we just, you know? <laughs> the city. Oh, okay. We from the kingdom of heaven. Okay. So you believe in the Bible, right? Yes, yeah, So you got your little cross hanging. Oh, yeah. I'm a Christian. Oh, yeah, that's good, man. What about what you think about Muslims? They're like them two Muslims just passed. You think it's cool to have oh, he heathens walking amongst us? Uh, I abide by 1 Corinthians 13. What's up, heathen? Yeah. Oh, she could have been a Jake, though. Yeah. I abide by 1 Corinthians 13, so... What's that? Did you quote it for me? Yeah. Actually, I can read it for you. Yeah, read it for me. Go ahead. Why are you getting that? He's going to bring a scripture up. Or this is um, um this is Psalms 91. Um I'm gonna start at the top, man. That's good. He that uh, what is your Psalms 91? Where we yeah, yeah, that's, your word. That's what I started with. Where, where'd you start at one? Yeah. You start at the top. You where'd you stop at? You remember? Uh, is that a spirit for me? Okay, okay, that's where I started. That's a spirit, boy. We started, he, we went back to it. That's right, because it's a powerful scripture in their watch. Yeah. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His trust shall be thy shield and weapon. Yeah, that's when the Lord brings his great destruction that's coming. He won't send angels, actual angels to physically deliver us. To save us from Oh, go ahead. We'll right. get back to that in a second. This is King James Version. That's good. That's, that's what we use. Okay, cool. Paul, what? Wrong one. Sorry about that. Oh, he went and got his friends. Oh, uh, he got his homie. I'll go ahead, bro. Bring it out. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I am become a sounding as brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not, charity vaunteth not itself, it is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, Hold up. thinketh no evil. Uh, that has to do with, what does that have to do with a Muslim walking by? 
love one another. That's basically what it does. Like I don't, I don't go around yeah, walking like. Eight, what do you know about stuff, man? Brad Lee. Is that the old one or the new one? Oh, they didn't know Sublime was Rome. Huh? You yeah. talking about Rome? Yeah. Uh, Rome got to go. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It ain't the same, is it? No. It's not. It really is. Yeah, he's all right, though. He's all right. Yeah, I'm right. Well, I ain't saying that. I ain't he saying that. He looked like a homosexual. So, what were you tripping? I was just reading frustration. Yeah, but, but what does that have to do with were the heathens, though? Were they disagreeing with you or something? The heathens are antichrist. Anybody that does not believe in the Lord is an antichrist well, and is a liar. Is a liar. Not sin should throw the first stone. No, the is about to come. Though. We ain't. We're not throwing stones to nobody. But you are. We, we're not. Saying. We're not. You're taking that scripture out of context. We have not threatened to stone anybody to death. Well, I think a lot of things in the Bible are metaphors. But that's not a metaphor. In that instance that you just quoted. A woman was actually about to be stoned to death. But there's different types of stones. There's physical stones, there's emotional stones, emotional abuse. Read uh, Galatians 1 and 8. Hey, Please. Hey, here's, a, here's a spiritual stone I'm about to throw at you. Galatians Good. 1 and 8. Galatians 1 and 8. But though we or any angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, and that which we have preached unto you, let them be accursed. So let him, if anybody teaches another gospel than what well, we teaching, but let him be accursed. What his mind, said the Lord. Well, what does that be, mean, be accursed? Is it, to, to be accursed, does that mean, that does that mean that I love you when I when I curse you? No, no. but if you really love them, you should I don't really love them. I don't like heathens. And the Lord doesn't like heathens. Read that and keep going, bro. When you say a heathen, you're supposed to rebuke that heathen. Especially right, especially if you're doing something wrong, teaching our people to go astray, well, teaching our people to follow uh, false why don't gods. Why help them to come to the light? So well, heathens, that's what we... It's what, not meant for heathens. Uh, not all, not, them and calling them heathens out on the street? That's what the Lord did. Oh, where is that? Well, that, are you the Lord? He, told, he, he is the Lord. We're yeah. supposed to follow are you the, the Lord? Lord? We're supposed I know to, we're made in the image of God, but does that make us God? Yeah, I, we, we are, we God are gods. Psalms 82. We're gods. We are gods. But we gonna, but in this world right now, <laughs> we're being stripped of our power, so we're gonna die like men. But we're gonna get our power back. Okay? But let me read this for you right here. Alright. And this is the Lord right here. Um so I can six and fifty three. You gotta listen. I'm not gonna read for somebody else. I'm listening, sir. Upon the sixth day thou gave us commandments unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beast, cattle, and creepy things. And after these Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So everybody comes from Adam. It said everybody comes from Adam is what it said. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Everybody comes from Adam. It's not aware that he doesn't have God. That's right. You got to choose people. You know situation. That gene pool is going to be something else. But you want to know something? It wasn't just two people. Yeah. It was never just two people. It was a whole nation. Of, they, you can call them Adamites, but let me read this. Yeah, because there was more than like one Adam. You had actually a, right. a whole bunch of Adams that the Lord created. Because Adam in Hebrew, the word for man is Adam. Okay, so when you see when you read the book of Ezekiel and it says son of man, when you look that word man up in the Hebrew the scripture, it says Adam, That's son beautiful. of Adam. That's beautiful. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right, because the Lord only chose one people, that's the nation of Israel. The Lord didn't come to save all nations. Keep going. All this have I spoken before thee, wow. O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. The, the Lord made created the, the earth for Israel. Wait, here you go. I'm Here's listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. As for the other people. For all these heathens. Which also came of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. There, yeah, these heathens are nothing. But be like unto Spittle. Adios, heathen. And has likened, that was a tear. Yeah, he was a And likened the abundance of, I told, hey, I told you, man, I grew up with a, a tear that his dad was dark like him. Big black motherfucker. He had a cross, he had a cross hanging from a, a rainbow. Right. Right, right. And check out, his mom was an uh, 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 Irish woman with a fat ass. <laughs> now, but this motherfucker's a terrorist. Yeah. Because people think, you know, he even say I'm black. Because his dad's black, you know. Now, motherfucker. I do 
talk like a filthy sodomite. Yeah, right, right, right. Jeremiah How many times can you argue with people when the Lord when we just clearly prove that the Lord ain't for everybody? Yeah. That's why when you read the scriptures, Israel this, Israel that, Jacob this, Jacob that. So, you know, or if he's not naming specific tribes out by names from the wickedness they've done, he's never mentioned, oh, he may talk about Edom, wicked, wicked ass Edom. I got it. Wicked ass Esau. So we might as well get, you know? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, that's, 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 that's an, no, I, that's I an unlawful mean, like, thing, man, being with men. I just, no, I don't mean I'm, I am at all. Well, I, I just mean, uh, I'll, get, I'll get the law for real quick. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was just curious. I mean, okay they're looking on the down low, brother, that people that hide what they do in their own personal time, but you don't know what people do, man. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, yeah. I don't hang with, uh, this is it. This is my family right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is literally my family, if it's not my kids or my wife. Are you guys you know uh, like against like Jewish people or something? They, they're not, Jewish? They're not Jews. You ever checked out that? You ever looked at their Bro, name? I was Jewish? Kind of that, but... Jewish? They're telling you they're not oh, the yeah. real Jews. They're telling <laughs> you that they're not the real Jews. That's why they, Jewish. Right. <laughs> it, it tells you right there on that sign. It tells you. Some foul people. They're, they're so called Jews. Like, did you like, forget? Say if I had, if there were, you just met some people and they happened to have like. Their family is Jewish, so they're Jewish. Okay. Um, can, are you guys cool with that? Well, we gotta talk to them first, examine their spirit. Right, right. Because our, our, uh, no, you good? Okay. Our people are scattered among all nations. Right. So, not every last one of those devils is actually a devil. So one of them might be our people. We can tell through the spirit. Because the Lord's only dealing with the nation of Israel. I mean, do you feel like if they just treat everyone great and everything? Well, like I said, but we, that hasn't worked out nowhere. We judge, we judge people. <laughs> well, we're treat everybody great. Right. Everybody love each other. Now, how has that worked out fine? Look at the world, man. I was just curious. You like, know, I'm like, just using just, common sense. If I have, if you met a Jewish person, you yeah, didn't know they were just, Jewish yet. You just don't automatically cuss people out like right. that. No, I wasn't out. saying cuss them out, but yeah. do you but they, have they, a negative thought of them? Well, no, we not. judge our spirit first. Just spirit. Right. Got, we judge, we judge everybody's spirit. spirit. I got the scripture. Go ahead. This is Romans 8 and 14. For as many as are led by the spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the Most High. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry out of Father. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Yeah, so we don't prejudge people. Okay, we examine some of the spirit. And if the spirit bears witness that they are one of the sons of God, then so be it. If, if their spirit bears witness that they're a damn heathen, and then coming up saying that you can you can eat pork, you can you can I mean you can murder somebody and as long as you repent from it, you can be a homosexual. Just like the scripture you read, that other that other Jesus. Yeah. That's a, that's a that freak that I came up here. Feel like I'm not gay, but I feel like some gay people, like some of them, maybe are born that way. Right. Uh, if they're born that way, they'd be born with a, with a pussy, not a penis. I heard a good analogy today watching TV. It was like, guys, they don't go into prison gay, but when they're in prison, they turn gay. Well, I guess they was born gay, though, right? Hell, they got in there and got raped a couple times. They started liking them. Right, 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 right. Yeah, for that, that I jail don't know. Is I, that's, I, just, that's a I don't, I don't know because I'm not gay myself. That's a I feel disorder. like there's some. Well, that's that's a mental here. disorder. Thing. Well, right. you know, we gotta follow the laws of the Bible. This is just a, like you got crackheads, dopeheads walking around. It's homosexuals that sing, you know, same shit. See, these are the laws of our forefathers. Okay. Please the flesh. And this is what the commandments that we was given. Yeah, Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So that, that's that's the law. And that's 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 the answer to homosexuality. Or do you think God, uh, like our people should be doing the murder? No, no this, course, this is no. Satan's kingdom. No, With right. the, uh, the, the, no. the law of the Lord is not being practiced here. Right. So. Back in the ancient world, if you was a homosexual, they would stone your ass to death yeah, in got, a heartbeat. Right. Actually, still in parts of the world to this very day. They, you, it's still 
homosexuality and adultery in the middle e most Middle Eastern countries is punishable by death. That's horrible. Right. But um That's not horrible. Why is it horrible? Because I mean we tell people to repent, okay? You pay I, mean, your, I feel you like pay, they're not pay, really you, doing you pay, uh, harm life insurance, to you pay any kind of health insurance. It has yeah, nothing yeah. to do with that. You see how high it is? Yeah. Why do you think it's why do you think Government. No, no, it's because they gotta, they gotta, these, this, the homosexual is so, is so, the gender is so huge that they have to, they're supporting them. Because every, I mean, every other day, the homosexuals in the clinic taking medication for it. Right, you get on the, you know, you know what the CDC is, right? The Center of Disease and Control. You can get on the CDC, what, CDC.org, and look up the statistics for uh, HIV, AIDS, syphilis. And homosexuals, they they're, they have a way higher rate of STDs and HIV than any other demographic. Shorter lifespan too, right? Yeah, shorter lifespan. So, I mean, this is like common sense shit that the people bugging out over. Yeah. You're not supposed to be I a faggot. I don't see why uh, yeah, people like, deserve to die if they're not... Well, well, well other okay, yeah. so, so why would a, a girl deserve to catch AIDS? Because she got... Uh, she got... She had sex with a gay dude who's actually, well, a dude who's bisexual. So, so you're gonna tell me a, a, a woman deserves to catch AIDS for, from a faggot? I almost think that he should be punished for that. But, but for if there's no AIDS involved, and maybe he's just happened. being gay with his partner, and there's no harm there is done. A, that's a fairy tale world where AIDS are involved. Some media down the is not involved. That's the fairy tale. We're talking about reality. Yeah, it's reality, like, bro. She was one person to be with. But, but faggots don't do that. Hom homosexuals are the freakiest people on the planet. They have thousands of partners. Most of them do. No, they're freaks, dude. They're freaks. They live a very promiscuous life. They live a promiscuous life. Single people, right? I don't give a shit. I fuck all the people I want because I'm single, I'm not tied down, I'm young. Why would we get married? The sex is marriage. Sex is marriage. That's for other people. That's with the recreation. Born in front of Pastor Porkchop and exchanging rings and vows is not biblical. That's not in the Bible. Okay? That's a demonic ritual. So a man can, it is, put a it this way. Ritual. According to the Bible, a woman can only have one husband or a whole life. That means have sex with one man. Yeah. But a man can have as many women as he wants. As long as it ain't somebody else's husband. As long as, as, long as you don't like commit really? adultery. Yeah. So I shouldn't feel bad? I should just get some, get some strange... No, I, I'd like to be exclusive. As long as, as long as you I thought it take was. care of her, you love her. You should feel bad for getting pussy all night. Why should, different night. You should feel great about getting pussy. No, it's just that, I mean, I thought it was kind of bad to like have sex with different girls all the time. Nah, right, dude, that's that church see. bullshit. Right. See, the Bible's a book for real men. And real men, like, we like women, okay? We love women. We, we, like, we like them thick, we like them petite. So we like them black, brown, Chinese, different flavors. Different flavors. Any unique symptoms. Just, uh, I just thought it, it was kind of like wrong uh, to want it. Just like, I mean, how it's wrong for girls to be domestic. As long as she, see, the, 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 the biblical way you're supposed to live is you're supposed to, all your wives are supposed to be virgins when you get them. Yeah, that's, she, what, that's hard to do. Well, that's because this is Satan's Here you kingdom. Go. Can I read this real quick? This is Joe. So, would you not like to live in a world where all the women were virgins and you can have as many as you wanted? I'd like to have one <laughs> girl, one wife. Well, that's, that's true. true. Well, that's true. That's good. You ain't going. You're not going to get that here either. That's a fantasy. There's there's no wives in America. Be like girls. Uh, have as many men as they want. Yeah, that's why the Lord. That's why there's more women on the earth than men. About like what, five to one, six to one? Or greater than that. Probably more than I that. Mean, much so, higher. Yeah, that, that's them. why in China they abort all the girls. India too. You know what I mean? Also India too. They abort females. Yep. Because they say they're useless because they got too many females. If you have one female around ten men. Yeah, we're not saying that's cool, but that's just what they do. Because that's the way they look at it. Like the man is, is the man are more few than women. There's so many women on the earth. That's because the Lord wants us to be fruitful and to have sex with all these women. Fruitful and multiply. 
so I should get some tonight? <laughs> yeah, like, you, bro. I mean, usually it's like I like to talk to him for a bit. Yeah. That's cool, like, too. No one chick. That's your business, but, what you do with your woman. But I mean, but you're no saying it's okay to get time. Yeah, as long as but you... As long as they say someone else's woman. It's just I like to be a good guy, and I didn't realize that. Well, the apostle, trustworthy. The the apostle, apostle Paul said that if you were a man of the Lord and you like a like a bishop, you're the head of a, a congregation, then you should only have one woman. So if you're truly serious about doing this work, you can't have a lot of women. Right. But some brothers just attract women, and they can't help it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, bring it out. Like me, I got them coming out the sewers like the king. Like I had that wisdom, that knowledge today. Yeah, I can mess with them sewage rats. Yeah, now our, our real woman, this is a, our real wife is, just, right. is the, yeah, we're married to the truth. That's right. That's why the Lord called us the bride, uh, the bridegroom. Right. We're called us the bride. That's right. We're going to get married. We, we, we inviting people to the marriage. That's right. Go ahead. We're trying to commit so all I shouldn't these... feel bad if I just... Got a girl tonight. We got her tomorrow. We got a different one tomorrow. Well, as long as look, we dude, don't want to get disease. Yeah, you never know. If you can, you're supposed to stay with the woman. You're just not supposed right. to be hitting them, quitting them. But right. in, in this yeah, in this evil ass world we live in, I mean, I mean you lucky if you. To, but they just run away. That's how it is. Well, that's how it is. Like I said, because nobody has a woman, you only got your turn with that woman. That's right. Everybody just passing bitches around. You know what I mean? Passing infections around. Passing diseases Really, around. you better off just going out and buying some it is pussy. Yeah. <laughs> it is you almost, really, you almost better get a problem. Oh, yeah. They deserve to be going. Yeah. All right. Well, good talking to you guys. Have a good day. Adios. Not going to say this soon? Hey, John, where you going? You don't like me? I didn't say that. I don't, I don't know, know you. I don't know you. I mean, I thought maybe you'd get to know me like I'm a good guy. Are you leaving? Well, you leave, I, I guess mean, we're honestly, done. My friend Are you disappointed? Because he's, he's a bit uncomfortable with what you're saying, but... Well, well everybody I'm, I'm for gay marriage, too, and guys. I have a lot of gay friends that are yes. down to earth real like us, too. They're human beings. Well, they, I mean, they've been brainwashed and manipulated. So, that they're, they're what you call, they're victims, bro. They've been, he's just into guys. Like, my friends, he's in the guys. For guys, yeah, he's not in the women. And that, that's some weirdo shit, bro. That's crazy. So that's you, his opinion. But right? he likes to play with feces, get feces, shit all over himself. No, Come on, bro. No, what about no, that's what they do? That's what they do. They, hey, they, you they guys have parties. Hooked up with a girl's butt? No, no. That's, stuff with that's, a girl's butt. That's, that's nasty, nasty, man. That's nasty. I'm just curious. Oh, hell no. I mean, you like the cheeks, though, right? If I was a rapist, would you still love I'm sorry? If I was a rapist, would you still think you cool? What about pedophiles? I mean, as long as the child agrees to it, that's cool too, bro. Because you know, most homosexuals are pedophiles. They're like, yeah, they are, dude. Yeah, they're, they're, their minds are demented, bro. They're not pedophiles. My friend's not a pedophile. That's what you think. I've known my whole heart life. Like an addiction. Uh, you don't know that. Uh, pedophilia it's and flesh. homosexuality. It's like flesh. They, 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 there's a, there's a, Fleshly lust. They, there's a link. They've done studies on homosexuality being linked to pedophilia. There's, there's right. scientific that's right. studies on it. Look at Google it, bro. That's right. Walk in. Because a homosexual is more likely to commit an act of pedophilia than a heterosexual, obviously. Oh, yeah. Especially little What'd boys. It's like the Catholic Church loves to rape little boys. They're all I mean, I still feel like there's a lot of regular guys that, that do like that. Little Yo, girls. I can get some water, man. Yeah, yeah, I feel like there's still a lot of guys who like that. Hey, before we go, do you guys believe in true words? I'm not going to be true. Line, that guy says, Lou V, the base guy. Yeah, the basic. You know, flipping the bricks and cooking up hot. No, there's another one. But there's nothing positive about uh, a disobeying the commandments of the Lord. That's not positive. I says, yeah, that's, song, that's, the, that's negative. I'm Lil B and I love you. <laughs> Dude, we fought.